Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video to walk you through how to do an expedition on your Garmin Instinct watch. Now I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It doesn't matter if you've got one of the solar versions or non-solar versions of this watch. The expedition is going to be available on all of them and it's going to work the exact same. I'm also going to go through this fairly quick. It's very similar to doing any other activity, so I'm kind of assuming you know some of that already. If not, I've done some videos in the past that walk you through the basics of doing activities. So what exactly is an expedition and why would you want to do it? It's similar to, let's just say you're going on a hike. Most of the time, if you're gonna do a hike or any kind of activity, a walk, swim, whatever, the activity is gonna take maybe a couple hours, maybe a whole day, sometimes even two days, but your battery life, a full battery, should be able to account for that. An expedition would be a multi-day activity that you're wanting to record. And because it's multiple days, you're gonna to wanna to preserve as much battery life as possible so that your Garmin Instinct can make it through the whole activity. When we do an expedition, the sensors and accessories on your watch are automatically going to be turned off. So things like uh, being able to connect to your smartphone, using your heart rate, any of that stuff you're not going to be able to use. You will be able to use GPS, but unlike using GPS or even UltraTrek, the GPS will only plot your tracks in a minimal amount of time. By default, it's just once per hour, but we can actually change that. So I'm going to jump into it and we're going to take a look at some of the settings and how it works. So we're gonna do it just like any other activity. We're gonna press the GPS button. It's the upper button if the watch is facing us. And what we're looking for in here is expedition. If you don't see it, you can use the up or down buttons to go through your favorite activities and apps. If you don't have it in there, just go to the bottom, click GPS to add it. And you're looking for the one called expedition. It's got a mountain with a flag on it. The first time you add it, you should get a message letting you know that when you're in an expedition, all of your sensors and accessories will be turned off. Once you've done that once though, and you've bypassed that message, you won't see it again. That's why I'm not seeing it when I go in. It is similar to other activities. The one thing that's different is you've got some data fields on here and you cannot edit the data fields on an expedition. It's kind of similar to the hunt and fish activity. Most other activities, you can go adjust your data fields, but on the expedition app, you can't. You'll notice that my GPS is connecting. And then over here, I've got a button that says options, press up. So let's press up. We'll take a look at our expedition settings. We're gonna press GPS to go into those settings. By default, it's going to record your GPS trek points once per hour. You can press GPS and you can change that. You can do 75 minutes, 90 minutes, again, 60 minutes, 45, 30, or 15 minutes. My advice would be set this based on how long you think your expedition is gonna be as well as what your battery life is like. If you're doing an expedition that's gonna take a week or so, you want it recording as few GPS track points as possible. It's only gonna be a couple of days, 60 minutes even less, will probably get you by. No matter what you choose here, this is just dealing with the watch, connecting to the GPS and recording a track point. You can always manually go record a track point during your expedition, I'll show you that. So I'm just gonna leave it on 60 minutes. The other option you've got is, do you wanna record track points after sunset? If you have this off, it's kind of designed for, let's say we're doing a hike through the mountains and at nighttime, all we're gonna be doing is setting up camp and sleeping. We wouldn't wanna record any kind of track points during nighttime because all we're doing is using battery life to connect to the GPS and we're recording the same point that we're sitting at over and over. So you can turn this feature off. Now, if you happen to be hiking during the nighttime, you would wanna turn this on so that your GPS is recording those uh, points at nighttime just a simple toggle on or off. You can change the background color just like on any other act, uh, app or activity. You can rename it and then if you mess up and you just want to restore it back to the default, you can restore it back to default. Those are your only options under the Expedition app. I'm going to press back. If we're ready to start our Expedition, all we're going to do is press GPS to start it. You'll notice it's connecting to the GPS, it says locating satellites, I'm on day one of my expedition and it just recorded my first point, which is my starting point. Now what happens though is the GPS is going to disconnect and it won't connect again until 60 minutes later when it needs to record my next track point. You can see the time of day, the day of the week, again the number of days of the, um, that I'm on on my expedition, the number of track points I've recorded. I can press the down button and I can see some other data fields. How many miles have I gone today? What's the total distance I've gone? How long has the expedition been going on? And what's the distance that I've been traveling per day? 
I can also press down and I can see a map of the expedition. At any point, if I want to record a manual waypoint, all I have to do is when I'm on the map, press the GPS button and I can choose add a waypoint. You'll notice when I click add a waypoint, the GPS is going to have to connect. Unlike doing a hike activity or a walking activity where the GPS stays connected, stays connected, because we're doing an expedition, it just records that point, it disconnects your GPS, saves battery life, and it's not going to connect again until it needs to record another waypoint or until you tell it to go record a waypoint. So let's give it a second. I'm sitting indoors, so it'll take a second for the GPS to connect and record my point. Once it records it, it's going to go ahead and start another counter and it won't record another track point until 60 minutes after it's recorded this one. Okay, you'll notice my GPS connected. It saved my waypoint, puts me back at this screen. I can go view my points or I can just press the back button and I'm right back in my expedition. Those are really your only data screens. Again, those cannot be adjusted. You're just gonna continue on. You'll notice I'm still on day number one, but now I've got two points. My starting point, the one I just manually did, and that's it. And then as we continue on throughout the expedition, that number will increase. Works just like any other activity. Once you're done with the activity, once you're done with your expedition, you're just going to press the GPS button. It'll temporarily pause it and then it's going to give you some options. You know, do you want to resume? Do you want to save it? Discard it, etc. I'm going to go ahead and discard this since it was just for the video. I hope that makes sense. I'm not too sure many of you out there will need to use it, but for those of you that do expeditions or multi-day activities, it's a pretty cool feature on your Garmin Instinct watch. As always, I hope this video helps. If you got any questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.